video number 49 Sutanai. And do you know that the 12 chairs and the golden calf were not at all written by Ilf and Petrov? You might say, no, how can that be? But we all know this. It was covered in school. How can you be so illiterate? These are the kinds of comments I received on the series of stories I've recorded. And I've already recorded three stories, quite lengthy ones. So go ahead and check out the YouTube channel. You'll see everything there. These stories are about how The Twelve Chairs was actually written by Mikhail Bulgakov, not Ilf and Petrov at all. When you're pressed by your friends and you know how our various state bodies pressed. And Russia has always been, whether under Soviet power, the KGB, or during the Russian Empire, when the Tsar's secret police didn't allow intelligent people to express themselves to the people, why and who needs intelligent people? Because God forbid the entire population of our huge country starts thinking intelligent thoughts. And so they tried to keep the smart ones, like Mikhail Bulgakov, in such a state. Bulgakov had a problem, money. He wasn't published. They refused to publish him. Naturally, money is needed. One has to live on something. And everyone wants to live well. So when he was offered, he brought his works to the Writers Union. He wanted to get them published. But then Katayev stepped in and said, your works won't be published. You know, better give them to my nephew, and we three will publish your works. And so, out of poverty, out of necessity, Mikhail Bulgakov gave his works to Ilf and Petrov, and the works became known all over the world. But if he had kept them to himself, no one would have known, and they would have been burnt in the stove like the manuscripts of the master from the master and Margarita. Remember, he burnt his novels out of desperation, out of need. This is the desperation and hopelessness into which our rulers who came into our world conquered it by means of theft and lies, drive us. And now they rule over us. This was me, Tanya Karatsuba Sidburka.